Cervical cancer is the uh, fourth most common cancer in women worldwide. Um, it's very common in uh, developing countries and, um, and actually 87% um, of all cervical cancers occur in developing countries. The recommendations from these new ASCO guidelines are that if uh, the country is, still has the resources after vaccinating the girls, and 50% uh, of the girls are vaccinated, that the boys should also be vaccinated as well. Um, and the boys also could receive the vaccine up to age uh, 26 as well. ASCO, or American Society of Clinical Oncology, just recently came with uh, a new guidelines that they were just published, uh, a global guidelines for the use of the HPV vaccine <clears throat> in developing countries and other areas of the world. And this is important because as we stated before, 87% of all cases of cervical cancer occur in developing countries. And the guidelines are specific as to which uh, segment of the population should be approached at what ages and the sequence and doses, doses of the vaccine. So as it relates to the U.S. and the current guidelines for HPV vaccination, um, the recommendations remain the same, which is that uh, kids, uh, bo both boys and girls, should be vaccinated uh, with the HPV vaccine uh, age, ages 9 through 14. And if they are not vaccinated during that age frame, they still can receive the vaccine uh, up to age 26. With the HPV vaccine, we have an incredible tool. It's a, um, it's a treatment that prevents most of these cancers, which are have an incredible impact on the life of young people and older people too. Um, cervical cancer, once it's, it develops, even if it is localized, uh, it has significant morbidity and mortality up to um, a third of the patients, even with localized disease, can die of the disease. Um, and once it's metastatic, almost none of the patients are cured of their disease, unfortunately. The HPV vaccine definitely prevents cancers um, and is, is the best tool we have currently to prevent cervical cancer, anal cancer, oropharyngeal cancer, and penile cancer. As a father, I, I would advise that uh, uh, boys and girls be vaccinated as recommended uh, in the guidelines uh, in age 9 through 14. And if you have a child up to age 26 who hasn't been vaccinated, to encourage them to be vaccinated. Because if you can prevent one of those cancers, you would have a huge impact on, on your children's life.